so it was January 1st a few weeks ago and as you can expect I wrote a list of the things that I wanted to try and complete this year. I've spoken before about how much I love learning languages and I did attempt Spanish last year during Covid so for the first time in over a week I forgot to do my Spanish yesterday. But I then started my grad job and things got really busy, um, but I was speaking with my friend about time management and prioritising and that actually dedicating an hour a day to do French isn't that much when you can see on your screen time on social media is, for me anyway, <laughs> two to four hours a day. So that one hour I spend on myself learning a new skill is a great investment. And so for that reason, I decided to do French every day for a month and see the improvement. You might have seen me doing French classes at 6 a.m. or 8 p.m. after work on my Instagram stories. <laughs> so I needed something that was flexible and that's why I chose Babbel. And they are the kind sponsor of this week's video. They are a language learning solution built by language experts offering classes in French, German, Spanish, Polish, Russian. They've got so many options, but I knew I needed a platform where I could have sit down classes, but also small digestible self-paced tasks that I could do on the go or from bed. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail about the app but also the other things I've been trialing alongside Babbel but let me take you back to January 1st. Bonjour! <laughs> Aujourd'hui c'est le 1er de janvier et quelque chose que j'ai toujours voulu faire était filmer une vidéo en parlant et on pratiquait euh, mon français, le français, euh, parce que j'adore regarder ces vidéos avec les traductions et avoir l'impression <rire> d'apprendre une autre langue, comme regarder un épisode en vol. <rire> Un vol, un épisode, une épisode de Money Heist avec des sous-titres en anglais. Um, pretty scary to do. That does not feel natural at all. And I, I, I also am aware I'm probably making loads of mistakes. Um, also gives me minor PTSD of my French A-level oral exam, which was the worst exam grade I've ever got. Um, but yeah, that's my French as of today. <laughs> So I've downloaded the app and I've taken this placement quiz which did keep me at beginner level which I think is fair enough. I've not done French classes regularly for about four or five years now but I've had a go at a few of the classes and they are perfectly bite-sized for while I'm eating breakfast in the morning which I think might be my new routine. Babbel also offers live classes which I have booked in for this entire week so we'll update you after those. Ils vont prendre des photos. Ils vont se bagner. Ne doublez pas en voiture, c'est des. Voilà. So the classes this week have been a great way to jump straight into the deep end. I was the only student in one of them, so there was a lot of practice going on. A couple of awkward silences. Je vais partir en vacances et je pars en Espagne. composé? No. No. Um. But my favourite thing, one of my favourite things about this Babbel app is the goal setting and the daily calendar that tracks your usage. I learnt about gamifying experiences at uni and having these little reminders and dots appear in the calendar, it makes you want to fill it up. So I was very upset when on the 5th I missed it by five minutes because I finished work late and then I had to have dinner. So sadly it only counted towards my 6th Day, but I know deep down that I did it. Something that I heard was about this three-day rule, how it takes three days to make a habit and three days to break a habit. And then I was researching and according to studies, it takes more than two months what? before a new behavior becomes automatic, 66 days to be exact. Uh, and so remembering why I want to do this and the driver behind why I'm doing this. <laughs> As what's kept me motivated, kept me waking up at 5.45 in the morning before work. <laughs> Bonjour Meying. Bonjour, ça va? Et tu apprends le français pourquoi? 
And so my answer to that in French I have learnt is Lorsque je serai plus âgé, je veux prendre ma retraite dans le sud de la France malgré le fait que je viens de terminer mes études à l'université. They were laughing at the fact that I've just only finished graduating and I'm already thinking about retiring. <laughs> So the progress this week has actually been pretty good. I decided to move up from A1 to A2 and sometimes B1, which is a lot quicker progression than I thought. I think what's helped so much is the daily recaps that I've been doing. That just means that the vocab, the new vocab is sticking a lot easier. And what I find the best is mixing it up. So sometimes doing speaking, sometimes using flashcards, listening or writing for the recaps. Actually. And I've also been picking up some other useful resources. One of the other students recommended a website called Reverso Context. It's basically like Google Translate but apparently all of the translations have been verified. We were looking for the phrase you've got lucky, vous avez de la chance, and it's good because it has examples. I feel like the key is submerging yourself in the culture so whether that's the music or the influences or the TV, I remember at school I used to watch episodes of Canal Plus which I would highly recommend as they do these little skits and they talk about the news so you get to hear about current events and you can pick up accents as well. There's that and there's also podcasts too so on my walks to the gym or at the gym I've been listening to a few which I will link all below. I currently can't last longer than 50 or 20 minutes on the treadmill honestly uh that's a new year's resolution for another video but the parlay away podcast has been the perfect length for that so you follow ted as he gets conversational in french so it's great for beginners the french on route podcast is a little bit shorter being around three to ten minutes but that stories from real francophones which is pretty interesting to hear but slightly more advanced my favourite French influencers, so just like when I was learning Spanish, you guys sent me a list of the best Spanish influencers to follow. I have slowly been building my French followings and watching their stories and I'll put a few on the screen here and if you have any other recommendations please do let me know in the comments. There are some great influencers who do subtitles in English too which is so helpful and also their content is just beautiful. So this week I have tried to find some French artists that I enjoy listening to and at college I remember we would always talk about Stromae and I know he's getting very popular on TikTok I think at the moment but I wanted to find some new artists and my current favourite is Jo Bell who I happened to actually find her via her English songs but then I found Salut les Amoureux which was a film score for Tout pour être heureux, a film Film, which I'm now going to go and watch um, but she's got such a light it's like a lovely melodic cheery voice would highly recommend listening to her as well as music I've also been keeping up with my daily French vocab and the classes as well as this new games area that I found these have been great while I'm on the tube or the bus coming back from seeing friends it must be working too because I saw my friend Sarah who you guys might remember from my first year at uni vlogs she was one of my Frenchy friends and I haven't seen her in about two years because of the pandemic but we got to catch up and I got to show her my Francaise. Um, it's fair to say she was impressed. Uh, corn de gazelle. Corn de gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> she also brought these corn de gazelle pastries that are almost like biscuits made from almond flour with orange water. Incroyable, so good. It definitely made me see the progress I've made, which is also very encouraging. And so I know I want to continue with this as I don't want to lose what I've worked so hard to get. Um, I'm so grateful to Babbel for teaching me so far because the teachers and the other students they have are so kind. And it's definitely an investment in yourself, a form of self care if you will. Um, but if you are interested in learning a new language, then Babbel currently have 30% off on their six month, 12 month and lifelong memberships, which I will link below. Finalement, j'espère que vous avez trouvé toutes les ressources utiles et que vous avez apprécié cette vidéo. Si vous l'avez fait, merci de lui donner un thumbs up. <laughs> Abonnez-vous pour plus vidéos. À bientôt. <rire> Salut